six five eighty two G W. I repeat, six five eighty two G W. Just type it uh, the number. Uh, you could just type. Uh, just uh, don't even need to put any uh, words there. Just type six five eighty two G W. Six five eighty two is one word, like a word. G W. Okay, just put it together as one word. Six five eighty two. Six five eight two. G W. At least you will see what it looks like. It will come up. You just go to the images. You will see what it looks like. Um, but like I said, you may not really find that one anymore. There's another one that I said you can also use. It's actually, it's not, okay, is it an OEM? But it also works. If you can find it, that's the one I said I found is those sites that appears to still be available, even though I didn't understand what they were saying. But that one, the number is too long, so I don't know it often. But I think I wrote it down somewhere. Hold on. Uh, okay, it says uh, 9678362080. Uh, what will happen is I'm going to put that description, I'll put it on the description so I know. You know, 9678362080. I'll repeat 9678362080. So you write it down, use it as well, search for it. When you find it, you see that it looks different from that 6582GW. Yeah, they don't, they look different. In fact, that, uh, this one with the longer uh, part number, or longer, the figures as, uh, the longer figures as part number, in fact, it has like two different shapes. One is shorter, one is too longer. One even has a long wire attached to it. Well, why the other one is just very small, so... Um, that's, this is for permanent solution, so that once you put it, well, you can now be using your the 1338 AO thermostat, the manual thermostat, which is very much available here in Nigeria and very cheap. Even outside Nigeria, anywhere part of the world, you, uh, you can easily get that one. It's very, very much available. So that's the permanent solution to it. You see, so those who might think, uh, well, why not remove the thermostat? Like I say, even if you remove your thermostat, as long as that thing is not on that plug that is supposed to go to piloted thermostat, the fire will not come up. So it's not a matter of removing thermostat and running with that thermostat. It's not a solution. In fact, that will even make it worse because <laughs> the thermostat is even supposed to open and close at some point, but this one, without any regulation, regulation so you just keep going up higher and higher. So don't even try that mistake. Um, you could try other means, like some will go and bypass their... No, I'll never suggest that. I will never I'll suggest bypassing fan. Because there's another way to keep it running. The fan to run. Me, you have to abuse the system. But one thing I've noticed, if I ask any technician, any project technician, you will find out that most times, when you now want to reverse the farm back to factory, you find out that it has damaged the engine ECU. Now, even after reversing the farm to factory, if once you switch on ignition, the farm will come up, even with the factory connection, because the earlier bypass they did that damaged the engine ECU, so you end up spending almost 80 to... What is 80? Like 120,000. That's even what it costs in Nigeria. It has like two different ECU, so one costs about 120,000 naira. So be very careful for EWTMA, you know, so um, personally, so let me give you another way. Now let's assume, okay, right now you don't have it and you don't want to use your car. I would rather spend more money to run the fan without abusing it. How do I mean? Be I'm okay, let's talk about Project 407 now. Because Poggio 407, the, the fan connection is different from that of 406. The Poggio 406 fan connection is more straightforward. So what will I do? I'll go and buy Poggio 406 fan. The one from probably uh, EW10 J4 engine. You know, 406 with EW10 J4. I'll buy that fan, mount it on uh, the 407 fan shroud or fan assembly. I'll mount it there, it has only two wires, positive and negative. Then I'll run 
that wire so that why I'm doing this so that I will not touch any of the factory connection or wire of that that goes comes from the 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 body wire to the fan. So I will not touch it. I will leave it there. I will just use the one I buy the, that will be on the fan with the 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 wire the two positive and negative wire. Then I will connect uh, negative to the negative one. For the positive one, I will put um, a relay on that positive one, right? I will put a relay on that one. Then um, for the trigger of that relay, I will put a uh, fuse. If I will put fuse on two sides, one fuse, the negative uh, trigger, the other fuse, uh, the one that supplies positive. Or I may leave that one depending, but at least I must put fuse on the trigger. Then connect it and now take that trigger. The one that will trigger the relay, that will power on the relay. I will now take it and put um, a more like a switch. On and off switch. So that once I start the vehicle, I'll, I'll switch on the fan. Even if I forget, because it will be very obvious, the, you see the temperature start going beyond normal. You remember, oh, the fan is off. You put on the distance. But if I'm always, because the, I'm the type of person that was always on AC, I will even bother about it because I'm always on AC, so the fan will be working. ECU will be controlling the fan. It's no longer the yeah. thermos. But I'm saying, let's assume your thermos fan is not working. I'll go and buy four six fan, it's about 10,000 naira. So uh, the whole thing may cost me about 11,000 to do the conversion with the relay and uh, the stuff when I'm doing it myself. The reason why I'm saying that, so that, yes, I know that. I will, the fan will not be running, but I'll be the one to control the fan. To know when to put it on and when to put it off. And secondly, I will not run the trigger to any part of the vehicle or wiring system. I will not. Because what usually kill all this, what they will do, they will go and connect it to the, the alternator, connect it to the BSM or all those things. Eventually, it will either damage your alternator or burn your fuse box. And most of they don't even put fuse because if you don't put fuse, normally if you put fuse, if it becomes too much, it will cut the fuse. But this thing, they just run it direct. So, I understand why I say I'll do it that way. It will cost more, depending when I can now sort out the thermostat, director's thermostat issue, and put back the 407 fan, so that the fan connection stays normal without any cut or join anywhere. But I know not, not everybody can uh, agree to do that because you always looking for cheap option and you end up condemning your car. Do you know so many people that somebody that that 147 VCs that did a bypass? But the farm was bypassed. I don't know whether it was before he bought the car or he bypassed it himself. When he now wanted to reverse part the connection, I don't know who did the reversal. They did it wrongly. As he was driving out of that place, a few kilometers later, the car went into flames. This is a serious thing. As in, this person is somebody I know. In fact, almost on weekly days, I see him. I know the 407 VCs saloon. The car caught fire. That's what I'm saying. You'll be thinking that I don't want to spend, although I'm looking for a way to, I want me to go and buy a fan. I know I'm virtually not used. Which one is better? Spend additional 11,000 naira so I won't abuse you. Because this is the only way you can run your fan without abusing the system. Even though, yeah, it may be affecting the, the cooling system. In terms of what I mean is the fan consumption will go high because the fan will not be running constantly all the time. But at least you get to prevent any electrical problem on your car. I don't know how else to say this, but this, I'm just giving you every, this, you can, if you watch this video, you see that I've given so many options on how you can use a project car with that engine. Okay, now let's come to another important thing. Like I said, not all EW10J, Pojo with EW10A have that issue. Some, when Pojo realized that problem, they didn't introduce that parameters <coughs> uh, thermostat anymore. Like 408 is no longer there. That this particular type is no longer there. So it was sorted out. They you put the normal thermostat. Hmm? I think so. 
or does it have a different thermostat housing? I don't know. I'm trying to remember if it's the 1338 AO thermostat that they put in 408 or a different uh, thermostat housing because what, what I have realized is uh, from 308 upward, like the EPCs or VTI engine, what Pojana did was they also introduced that same kind of piloted thermostat but in a different model, not this particular model. As in the piloted thermostat, the, everything now, including the thermostat itself, is now part of the housing. So, so means if the piloted thermostat fails, or the thermostat fails, you must change the complete housing. Same thing with uh, other THP engines, all these five, Pojo 508 and the red, that's how all, the, all of them are. So you don't say, don't, don't say, ah, oh, why did Pojo do this? Because even the new ones, that's how they are now, all of them. Only different was this was the first trial. That was their trial, and the particular thermostat did not work, so they went back to the manual one. But subsequent engines, probably they've gotten one that works better, and since then they've stayed there. They've not gone back to manual thermostat anymore. <coughs> so, I'm not saying all oh, Pojo 407 does have that issue, Pojo 407 with EW10A. So all I'm saying is go and look at your own. If you're not having a variety issue problem, check whether your own has this type of thermostat. As long as the fan connection is uh, factory, check if it has this thermostat. If it doesn't have it, it's two things. Either they corrected because it's an e software thing. So probably they, they've gone to the engine ECU and done some programming there or changed the settings. Not to work with this AT anymore and work with the CTS. Or that maybe they actually introduced that, uh, what's it called, the device or that blank plug on that your car and probably you, you can look for it, it will be there. So it means the previous user took it back and they did that thing on it or they bought it himself or whatever and changed it. Oh. Uh, so like I said, uh, possibly they weren't even, it wasn't even there, they, they used it from the one, they changed the ECU and used something else on the program, it not to work with this piloted thermostat anymore. So, <coughs> at least now you know, understand, you know, why I delayed doing this video, because I need all the information, <coughs> you know, so that you guys will have your options and know what and what you need to do in your own case or how to check if yours is also affected. Um, now you can get second hand piloted thermostat if your own has failed. But trust me, second hand that really don't trust it. Yeah, it may work because but then it's the same second hand that for your, you know for just say this thing doesn't last, so change it. So you're buying second hand, it's possible that that one, the last part is almost coming to a close. So, but you can buy in tem temporarily, you can buy and put, or just simply order these things online. Like I said, the one on eBay may cost about 18000 to get to Nigeria to your doorstep. The one on um, AliExpress can cost you about ten to 11000 naira. You know, um, all this, um, I mean, including shipping, everything about 11000 to get it to your doorstep. If I have this, honestly, if I have any of this, uh, if I have a Pojo car, personal Pojo car with that engine, first thing I'll do is to order those thermos, that thermostat, piloted thermostat first, since I don't have access to that uh, blanking plug. So until I can get the blanking plug, then I'll put the manual thermostat, the 1338 AO. Other than that, I'll buy the stock one, which is 1338 E4. So, well, even if I use the AC, I'll just get it and put. If it works, I'll leave it there, depending on when I find the solution. So I'm going, I'll try my best to put the links of all these places you can buy. The blanking plug, or the device, or the, what's it called? Uh, the, the 1338E4 piloted thermostat, or the electric thermostat. I'll put the blanks there. Then if I find some of the videos they talk about, uh, this uh, what's it called about the house or some users try to find permanent solution to it by putting the blacking plug or putting the piloted thermostat by the side you know connecting it even though it's, they, they didn't con put it in the thermostat housing i'll just put those things there they are not in english but if you understand it fine if you don't well, 
So I'm likely going to do uh, an update on this video, you know, when I find more information. All right, so that's all for this one.